Hey everyone, welcome back to 25 Sweepies and welcome to a studio vlog. Right now, we are sort of in a in-between releases phase for the 25 Sweepies shop. So that means I am doing the design aspect for upcoming products, which means a lot of computer screen time. So this video is a bit of a compilation of a whole bunch of different things. I'm really excited about this next one. So this pattern, well actually, I'm gonna finish up this piece real quick. Um, but this pattern is actually going to be releasing, it's going to be our next pattern release for the shop. It's going to be available on pet scarves for sure. I'm not hundred percent sure on the scrunchies yet, but it's a very beachy fun pattern that's going to be perfect for like Memorial day, 4th of July without being like in your face too patriotic or anything like that. It'll be just kind of a fun beach day, but also pulling some red, white, and blue vibes as well. I really, really like this print because it's really fun. It's playful. It's got some starfish. It's got some beach balls. It's got a cute little crab that I feel like he's going to need a name at some point. But there's a lot going on in it, and I really do like how it came out. I'm waiting on the fabric. Currently, I'm a little nervous about it because I'm always nervous when I get a new pattern printed because you never know how things are going to turn out. But I'm really hoping that this comes out because I really like the pattern and the print. And I think everybody else is going to like it as well. It's always like a really nerve wracking thing to do to like design a fabric, get the fabric printed and then try to release it and hope that people are going to like it because I'm already like so invested in the design and you're just like so unsure if other people are going to like it or it's, it's going to be received well. But, you know, we're trying things. But that is that. I worked on this pattern for, I would say, about two days, I think. So you're going to see clips from that. Then we're also going to take a little trip out. I only like filmed going over the bridge. But last week we had a graduation in the family. So I had to go out and like try to find something to wear. So I filmed a little bit of footage just like being out of the house. Which it wasn't much because I forgot in most places. And I feel weird filming in public. But maybe we'll get past that someday. <laughs> um... Then I started on a new product as well, so I will wait till we get there to explain that. So I'm starting a new series and not a series, a new collection, and it's going to be based off of what I'm holding, so a seashell. I've got my identifying book out, I'm making sketches, and I am planning a new launch every month inspired by a seashell. Not, not just any shell, it's actually going to be a birth shell collection. So you know how a lot of people have birth flowers, and you've got your birth stones, you've got things like that. Well, there's actually a shell for each month as well, which I find so cool and so fascinating but I actually don't see really anyone having products out there for batching your birth shell so that is on my to-do list this week this week I have quite the to-do list and I felt like it was all jumbled up in my head so instead of leave it there I decided to go ahead and make a little bit of a bullet journal spread this week I didn't make it fancy or pretty or cute maybe I'll add things into it later we shall see but I just wanted like a master to-do list because I don't like love dated things I really just want to master to-do list and then in this case I did go ahead and put like the days of the week and put what I needed to do on what day because I am planning on ordering products this week so I felt like having a good to-do list would be good for my bullet journal I am using an Archer and Olive notebook which I love because their paper is super thick and I can use my regular sharpie that I like to write with I hate writing with pencils and ballpoint pens I need my felt tip sharpie <laughs> And that is what I'm using to put in there. Okay, back to sticker designing. So last week and the week before, I was actually having a lot of trouble with designing things in general. I was like stuck in this rut of where and what is my style doing because when I do art prints, I like kind of realistic but like still stylized art but when it comes to fabric that doesn't really translate to fabric in my mind because I don't gravitate towards those sorts of fabrics so I was going through this like major like where does my style fall into this how do I combine the two and how in the world am I going to do this and then I realized I was doing something that I try not to do I was working with 
expectation rather than inspiration. So the quote that I decided I needed to turn into a sticker, if nothing else for myself, is work with inspiration, not expectation. We don't need to assume the outcome that we're going to get out of what we create. We just need to create based on what we're inspired by. And now a quick little intermission of Miss Ellie being a crazy girl. What are you doing? Hey, Ellie. What are you doing? Ellie, what are you doing? So in addition to that sticker that I was just explaining, we're back to the shell collection that I'm talking about. So each month, I'm thinking like on the first of each month, I'm going to be releasing a new sticker and that sticker is going to be inspired by that month's birth shell and this should launch in June. So we're talking about a June 1st launch for this new sticker. And if you have a June birthday, your birth shell is actually a conch shell. It isn't a particular type of conch shell. So I've taken creative freedom with this one and I have selected a conch shell to be inspired by. And for this month, I went, well, not for this month, for June, I went with a juvenile Florida fighting conch because they would be amazing to find. If you find a Florida fighting conch, they're very unique. And the one that you, I, bleh, bleh, excuse me, the one that you saw me holding earlier in the video, that was actually like a mature Florida fighting conch. Whereas this one is based off of a juvenile one, which I know I have some in my room somewhere, but I didn't pull any out. I used a reference picture from a shell guide book, which was just like a real photo of a seashell. And I am trying my hardest <laughs> To illustrate I have never had wonderful luck with illustrating seashells but that is something that I really 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 want to get good at this year because I love seashells I haven't been to the beach this year like for a proper beach day and I'm so looking forward to it next week coming for you the beach and hopefully we'll find some good shells I don't we don't often find major conch shells but when we do they're usually lightning whelks which is still the same kind of family as a conch shell but it's not it's technically a lightning whelk, which is still a little different, but still just as exciting to find on the beach. I believe my brother has actually found a Florida fighting conch, like full empty shell before. I have not found a Florida fighting conch yet, but I have found like the little juvenile ones. So there is a look at that. And that basically wraps up this video. Thank you for watching. This was a little sneak peek into some of the creation process of what I've been working on the past week and a half. And I will see you in another vlog very soon. Bye.